what's up guys hope you all are having an amazing day welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be sharing something totally different with you all a few days ago whilst i was sitting here in my studio very bored and thinking about what my next video will be or what kind of photo idea that i can create and share with you guys um it took me a while but i had an idea of doing some self portraits and uh kind of like telling you guys how i have been feeling since being stuck home i might have taken this a little bit too far but um i just wanted to show you guys um a little bit more than just behind the scenes and the photos and so I made some sort of short film and I don't know how you guys are going to take it. It's a little bit too long, but I hope you guys will enjoy it. If you are not interested in the intro or the beginning or the short film and want to skip to the photo, the actual photo shoot, that is totally fine with me. I will put the time of the photo shoot either somewhere here or here so that you can skip it to the actual photo shoot so you don't have to watch the entire thing um, and then watch the photo shoot as well. So I hope you enjoy and then I will see you guys after it. The day seemed like it wasn't going to be a good day. Um, I woke up feeling very uninspired and not ready for the day at all. I was just like thinking, should I just go back to bed or just start the day? But there was just something that at the back of my mind that was telling me, maybe not just put a shirt on and start the day. So I go in the bathroom, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then head to the kitchen to make myself either coffee or tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, I'm mostly a tea drinker. Um, once in a while, I would drink coffee and Anytime I would drink coffee, it's either I woke up feeling very tired or just not in the mood to do anything and I just want to drink coffee to just get, get the day started and just feel that energy that people that drink coffee a lot get. So today I decided to drink coffee and when I drink coffee, I like to have sugar and cream in it. I'm not like my wife. She likes to drink her coffee black with no cream, no sugar. And I know a lot of you guys out there like your coffee like that, but I'm totally different. I just like it with cream and sugar. So just like any other day, um, I will get either my tea, like I said, or coffee, go in the studio, um, sit down and get on my laptop, try to either see if there is any emails to reply or if there is anything that I was doing the night before that I have to continue or if there is anything at all that I have to do on the computer. Well, today I had few emails um, that I had to reply and it was good it, it, it's the day was actually starting to be great until this happened uh, 
Hello. Hey, Edmund. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay. And um, I also spoke with Alicia, and she also is going to have to close her gallery until at least June. So the show for your book is also going to have to be postponed. Yeah. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, like I said, we just have to get through this, and then you know, hopefully we can get it back on the books. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know what to say, um, but, I mean, I, I understand, so, um, thank you. Alright, I will. Alright, my greetings to, um, Ezra. Okay. Yep. Alright, thank you. Um, this year, I was making a book featuring two of my photography friends, and, there was going to be a show that I was going to do. It got cancelled. The venue for the other show for the book also got cancelled. Um, I was calling every single other person that I was going to collaborate with to see if we can still do something together, but it wasn't happening. and. The day started getting very boring, just turning and tossing, going on Instagram, feeling uninspired, um, take a break, get something to eat, back to being boring on Instagram, um, flip through my films, see if there is any new film in there that I haven't scanned or if there is anything that I wanted to rescan or print or anything um just go through it just trying to see if there will be anything that will spark my creativity and get me productive in a day like this where everything is kind of crashing on you So while sitting there thinking about what I would do, something just clicked. I was looking at my Hasselblad and I thought, why don't I just do some self-portrait? So I rushed into the fridge, grabbed myself on a row of HP5, loaded it into my Hasselblad and started the day trying to do some self-portrait. I have done several self-portrait before, but I don't think I've ever done anything on the asshole blood. Like I have, I have set it up and taking a photo of me in the mirror before but I have never um, shot it while sitting in front of the camera like this so I had to held up a book try to use that as my focal point um, set the focus but it was harder than I thought it, it just wasn't working as much as I tried to stretch out my hands I still wasn't being able to focus so I tried what I what I decided to do at this point was there is actually some writing on the book so I was trying to use that to focus so uh, I will be turning the focus until I can see clearly <laughs> till I can see clearly what is written on the book 
and then I will know that my film or my shot is actually focused. So set the focus, put the book down. And come sit down and then grab the shutter cable to take the photo.
As you guys have seen those are the photos that I took um, like I said I took it a little bit too far with the um, whole film that I was trying to do um, it's been a while that I did something like that so I just thought it was going to be fun if you made it this far thank you so much I really really appreciate you guys and as much as being inside sometimes it's just hard to like come up with ideas and photos to take in the house I think it's been it's been good for me um, as far as taking photos and coming up with ideas to take and I hope it continues like that and I hope it does for you guys too as well so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I appreciate you guys. If you like to follow me on my Instagram, it's kbwatin underscore street. That's where I share most of my black and white. So these photos will be posted on there. And if you like to see some color photos that I take all on film, you can also follow me on the film digits. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, stay home, be creative. Or if you are able to go out, go out there. Be creative, take some beautiful photos and share with us all. And don't forget, always create to inspire. See you guys in the next video. And I almost forgot one more thing. Um, I created a, a film, black and white film community account that I, I will share people's work and feature people's on there, just like the featuring account on Instagram. So um if you are a film shooter and you shoot mostly black and white or even if you shoot color but sometimes you shoot black and white um please go follow that it is filming monochrome if you like to go follow and check it out and be inspired by other people's work because of how much i love black and white photos i just wanted to create a community where it's dedicated to just black and white photos taken on film so if you like to follow that and share your work with us and you know just inspire others with your black and white photos go give it a follow and tag or use the hashtag um, filming monochrome 